We're waiting late night. Um, the customer called while I was at the pizza for me to cancel the order. And I couldn't cancel the order because they already made the pizza and they told me I had to take it. So I took it and I came to drop it off. And of course they didn't answer. So I called DoorDash and they said that, you know, wait for the timer to go off and then I guess dispose of the pizza. So I guess I'm gonna be enjoying a pizza tonight on the house with the Coke or with Pepsi for the drink. You know, I was supposed to pick up $50 cash. It was a $50 order. I don't know who would order one pizza and a drink for 50 bucks. That's some di di diabolical work. But at least they get a pizza. And then I got another order I gotta do after this. So I'm probably gonna do that second order and then I'm gonna head to the house because I'll have like, I think three more deliveries before I'm top dasher. I'm gonna try to stay out, but if it's like dead, then I'm gonna just um, head to the house. Like if it's like no other orders coming in. But right now it's 10 o'clock. So hopefully I can get these three orders by midnight. We'll see. Tick tock, tick tock, almost there. It's kind of dangerous. I'm out here like a sitting duck. I gotta just sit here and wait out here just craziness craziness play a game i bet you just don't have no tip okay i gotta go to the 34th floor and give her a call so she could meet me in the hallway because she didn't want to give me her apartment number okay she's a miserable person who did not tip just watch just wait and see by the way i gotta put respect on that lady's name because i couldn't find a location and i almost had like a second pizza but the guy came out nice guy um the tip was five dollars like 32 cent 38 cent um, I was actually on the phone with Paris, or was about to call Paris. I, I sent Paris a screenshot. So yeah, that order paid $5.38. And after that, I called her tonight. All right, we're two deliveries away from, two deliveries away from, two deliveries away from Top Dasher. Top Dasher, two deliveries away, we're almost there. All right, it's um, grayed out. We're gonna call it a night because this is like, to the point that I'm not gonna stay out all night and burn myself out. So we're two deliveries away from Tom Dash. I'll get that tomorrow. Two deliveries away. That will get me with those two deliveries. That will get me platinum, which is platinum right here. Large order, top priority, and it will get me dash now. Okay? So we're gonna get that tomorrow. Got back to the house, free pizza. On that customer, customer and play games and cancel the last minute. We're gonna eat on them. So before I get to wrapping up the day, um, giving you guys a little soliloquy, let me tell y'all, um, this might sound like nasty work, but we now have um, a new opening for the top DoorDasher. So I'm actually considering making a channel called Dennis DoorDash Jerome. Y'all let me know if y'all want to see that. So Dennis DoorDash Jerome would literally fit the void that Pedro had at one point because he was like the DoorDash king. He was, you know, the greatest DoorDasher of all time. And I think, you know, as a businessman, now that he's not doing it because he got deactivated, sadly, you know, um, don't feel sorry for him because he said not to because of the fact he was the cause of him being deactivated. He's going to go move on and do greater things. But with that said, we do need a DoorDash um, legend, we need a DoorDash guru. And I think I can fit that void. So I think that starting tomorrow, I'm going to start doing DoorDash ride-alongs and focus on the ride-alongs and two lives every day. We're gonna try it, we'll try it out. But with that said, uh, let me know in the comments if you would like me to take the place of Pedro, the DoorDash ride-along king. If you think that'd be a good thing, if you think it'd be fun, let me know. Um, you know, you gotta bet on yourself, you know, um, one day at a time. And that's what I'm trying to do, better myself. So y'all let me know what y'all think. But here's the wrap up right here. Um, this is gonna be a video that I know a lot of y'all do not want to hear, or won't wanna hear, but you're gonna hear. Okay, cause I think earlier I went on my little rant about, you know, the situation with me being woke up in the middle of the night over drama on my Discord. This is for you guys that don't have a clue on how to act like a normal human being, okay? Let me give you guys some game real quick, okay? And now, this ain't a shot to nobody, this is just some game. Let me start off by saying this. I have game of life. You know, the only thing I'm bad at is saving money. But when it comes to life, I'm a beast, okay? When it comes to like, say, when I'm single getting women, 
when I was lean, becoming popular. When it comes to creating an image or being fun that people wanna be around, I got what it takes to keep people's attention. Now, with that said, there's a lot of things I'm not good at. Now, if I wasn't good at these things, I'm gonna watch videos to learn how to become better. Now, I saw Pedro, Pedro did a, a video, a live a few days ago, to where he was calling out people in this gig space, you know, like people that team up with each other, who in reality are kind of like losers. There's a lot of people in this gig space that are the epitome of losers. And what I mean by that is you have a bunch of grown men who should be at home with their families, taking care of business. They're freaking 38, you know, to 45, 50 years old, fighting with each other, fighting over nothing. Like there's no gig space in reality. This is a space that at one point we were going to see video, watch videos to learn tips and tricks, learn how to be the better driver to make more money for your family. But then it turned into a community situation that you have group of lame dudes that created communities because there's really no popular communities in the gig space. There's no communities that I can like actually say, you know, these dudes are pretty cool because we're all grown adults. Most of us have families. Nobody's really putting time into being lit. Other than, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be cocky or anything, but me. I have one of the only channels that bring on normal people. But we're gonna get into the normal people aspect because I can't even say that I'm doing something that um, would be deemed cool at this point. But if you think about it, if you think about all the gig spaces that people consider themselves a part of, they consider a real thing. There's really none that got, you know, attractive women. There's none that really got baller dudes. There's none that really got people that are having fun, that are like, you know, engaging enough that you want to listen to, that you want to watch, you know, for, for, for you know, um, hours on hours. You know, now there are some people that are personalities. There are some people that are like um, engaging. I'm not going to say there's not, okay? You have people, let's just speak on like, you got Pedro, you know, you got, um, Roy, you even got Dash and Trader, you got, um, you know, even Rideshare Professor, you know, you got um, the, the Rideshare guys, I believe their names are, you got some people that are engaging in regards to sharing game, but they wouldn't be the epitome of what you would call cool, like, they're not the people that you're gonna just hang out on, like, a Saturday night, if you don't got nothing to do in your life, and, like, want to be a part of a panel, you know, a part of the conversation, because nobody wants to sit around talking about how you're getting abused by the gig apps. Like none of the gig tubers are talking about anything other than gig work, which is nasty work. I don't wanna talk about that all day. So I'm one of the only channels that converted and turned into a channel that's based around, you know, conversations about a bunch of different things that has nothing to do with ride share with gig work. So, you know, touching on that fact of, you know, what people are um, on my channel for, I'm, I'm co coordinating a panel with people that are like-minded in regards to just wanna have a good time, wanna laugh, wanna have fun. You know, sometimes I add in some drama. Sometimes I let people come in and be drama. So that way you have people yelling at each other. It's entertaining to some people. Okay, you have a lot involved that I try to like pick and choose what I want, you know, to have on my channel. But the past like year, it has been chaos. Um, you had a guy earlier who's been on my channel from day one, and he spoke on that. When he first came to my channel, my channel was more constructive, it was more lit, it was more fun, because I wasn't allowing just anybody to come on my channel. You know, you had to be like, you know, decent human being, you had to be positive, you had to be motivating, you know, you were like chill. But I've allowed anybody that, that would have paused to come on my channel, and these people call it content. It's not content, okay? When you are stirring away, okay, here's the thing. I said, y'all said y'all wanted attractive women to look at on my, on my channel. You wanna be able to engage with these women. I give you guys that. You know, I, I work on that. I give you guys just a couple that are willing to come on and engage with you guys. I'm gonna bring on more women. And even Callie Girl participates in it. She jumps on attractive women. You know, baller woman, still not happy. Okay, you still got people fighting with each other like we're in a freaking nightclub and y'all about to end the night to where we're going to end the club night because the freaking y'all want to fight over nothing. We got women around that y'all can, you know, talk to, 
have a good time, just joke and kick it with, okay? And it doesn't have to be pervy, guys. You don't have to hit on and be with any woman you see. You can have a conversation and maybe she might have a friend she can introduce you to. You guys realize that if you guys are like respect, respectable, you guys are like not thirsty, like most of these people, these women have attractive women that they can introduce you to. Cali girl has a lot of friends that are attractive that if you're a decent man, she's gonna introduce you to. But instead, you guys are so thirsty to get the first piece of, you know what, that's available to you. And that's like freaking absolute nasty work, okay? And then forget about the whole, you know, women situation. You have decorum, okay? Why do y'all dudes feel a need to like big up each other? Like, who cares who got the most money? When it comes down to it, who is the better man? Who is the better man? The better man is the man that's gonna uplift his brothers, uplift his fellow man, not make that man feel like a loser, make him feel down, make him feel like he's not worth anything. And for the life of me, I don't understand why you guys can't understand that. That's more valuable to me, having a guy that's gonna be, you know, respectful, gonna show love, gonna teach some people how to make some money, gonna like tell some jokes, make you laugh, be entertaining, you might learn from. That's the type of man that I wanna be around. I don't wanna be around a man that gotta like immediately try to, you know, bash and to tear down your character, not build anything. You know what I saw today when Ski, you know, Mondo, and I apologize to the, to the fourth guy. I forgot his name because he didn't have a, um, you know, he was like, like no profile picture. So of course, it's, you know, I forgot his name, but we got two deliveries here, $6, I'm about to knock this out. But, you know, when he came on, you know, we were as men building something. We were talking about what we can do better, what, what we can, you know, accomplish that's gonna make everything better. And you know, um, I think that for the most part, we accomplished that. You know, we accomplished some good ideas that I took and I'm gonna take serious because these are some ideas that I think can go a long way. But the whole point of the matter is, you know, I'm open to opinions and suggestions when it comes in a way of suggestions. You're not telling me what to do. I'm okay with that, okay? And that's what we got today. Those are the type of guys I wanna be around, okay? When I did the live with Furby earlier, that was great because I actually got to get into my interview bag, into my conversational bag, or conversationalist bag, to where a lot of y'all enjoyed that, a lot of y'all didn't. A lot of y'all don't really want, um, you know, conversations in that manner, but guess what? You don't have to have those conversations. That was, today was Furby day. So today was about Furby, and I think I did a good job with that. I'm actually gonna post this video in the morning. I'm not gonna interrupt for every day. I think it was set the positive. I, we left off on a positive note because I want that to be it. So with that said though, um, you see how we were going back and forth. We talked for a whole two hours. There was no drama, no beefing. Y'all got to learn a lot from her. We had some good dialogue in regards to some topics, some stories. And you see how her husband, for the most part, respect me enough that he didn't feel like he needed to be in a room. You know, um, he felt like, you know, I, 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 I think I earned enough of his respect that he knew that I was gonna, she was gonna be a good hands. I wasn't gonna say anything disgusting. I was gonna, you know, make her look bad. I wasn't gonna be, that was the first time doing a live stream. He trusted me with her, okay? You understand because I show the utmost respect. I try to be a professional. What happened with Furby is what I want all you guys to go through. I want that to be my life. I wanna have people that are camped up, people that are having conversations, and people that are willing to, you know, Dope. This dude about to come and mess up my video. Here we go. Here we go. Please go. Please go. Please go. Thank you. Oh, okay. So here's the situation. Oh my God, I'm here about a car. But yeah, you have um, you know, with 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 Furby, that's the way I want my lives to be. I want them to be constructive. I want them to be, you know, um, make sense. I want to take notes so we can go and have a direction. That's how they're gonna be now on. I'm gonna have topics. We're not doing. Uh, I just turn on a live and just shoot the crap. And I'm gonna limit my lives to hours, two hours, because I actually feel good. That was a great live for two hours. Night, good views, you know, um, good vibe, and I got in and out. That's what I'm gonna do like two times a day. Two hour lives, two times a day, get in and out and do, do some of these pre-recorded videos. But guys, just understand, I'm not throwing shots at any of you guys. Just remember, you don't have to be like extra, okay? Just be normal. You don't have to be thirsty and make women feel uncomfortable. You don't have to make men feel uncomfortable by acting like you like are Big Boss Ross. Like you're better than somebody. Just be normal. It's not a freaking competition, okay? Um, it ain't that serious on my channel. And then when we talk about topics, you don't have to 
like put your word in at all times like you don't have to hog the mic you know that's my job because people come to the channel to see me but i allow other people to have voices that might be more important on a certain topic than my voice because that's what i do that's what i'm trying to coordinate here but with that said guys um i just want to give you a little bit of game because i'm not tolerating trolls i'm not tolerating people that's making my life for hell because it's always drama it's always argument it's always a bunch of people fighting with each other um i'm not dealing with that no more i'm at this point about to start blocking people removing people um off my um channel uh, discord i'm going to start doing voice calls or voice uh, chats on discord after my lives so if you want to rock out with me after my lives i'm going to go on discord now we're going to build that up shout out to io7 he's doing a good job over there he got a lot of work that he's doing for me uh, for free i'm not paying him but you know he sees light in the tunnel he sees that things are going to pan out and he's a day one he's going to reap the benefits when that discord is really popping off and it's making money but he believes in he believes in it he believes in the journey he believes in the mission but with that said i appreciate you guys for tuning in appreciate you guys for um subscribing make sure you hit the like button make sure you subscribe if you enjoy the content if you enjoy what we're doing here and if you guys got ideas email me email me at the amazing hustler at gmail.com or you can also um instagram message me and if you are uh, you know interested in doing a show reach out to me let's do one but that's all i got appreciate it hit the like button for you i'm out peace